talking to you and you see yourself like you're in a hologram. This is called a jumble. It's not called a jumble. It's just called jumble of hundred flowers. It has a very anime feel to it if that isn't obvious. I don't know why I even needed to say that. Kind of Barbie-esque right with the lack of real genitalia. Um, there's there are some crosshairs here, which means that someone's playing some kind of game, digitized, right? So there's some kind of computer game. I guess either shoot the nymph, nubile girl, and flowers will explode. So I guess my summation of this piece is in its kind of um, frolicking juvenile appearance, it's actually quite violent. And it reminds me of this article I just read in the New York Times, penned by Gloria Steinem, where she talks about um, the difference between chick chicklet and pricklet. And basically pricklet being over-masculinized ideas that men have about what they think they should be consuming as art and culture, and basically anything demeaning to women is pricklet. But okay. the artist is uh, Peter Stolter. He created this uh, photo booth that takes pictures of people's eyes with the silhouette uh, captured inside of it. And uh, it's the whole idea of the eye being the window to the soul. I think this is really an example of how this style has worked, this intricate kind of weaving together of things in a tapestry that has multi layers of not only physical objects but interpretations. A trench coat, right? The guy who steals the watch is like, you want to buy a watch? Right? There's that. I don't know what that is. There's something that also feels like an ancient, you know, like mummified inner tomb with the jewels that are buried with the royal corpse. Harkening to the past, where you see this turquoise ish colored stuff and these wings, and you think of Egypt or a Nubian Empire or a new empire I just learned about last night on PBS, the Aksul. I think it was called the Ox. You know what? I, got, I better check this. Actually, Megan corrected me. The 10th year anniversary is the TIN, T-I-N anniversary. So, in honor of that, Megan, I present to you this watering canister <laughs> for our 10 years together. Thank you. The most precious item. Actually, tin is a very precious metal. Without it, we could do a lot of things in this world. Make paint, make mordants for dyes, building material, solder, um, Canisters that hold things, Feeling. ceilings, it's an, an alloy for other metals that are precious, I don't know, a lot of things. 